Hello and welcome to Let's Play Frugal 911 Operator Edition Episode 2. Uh, during our last episode, we handled some dispatch duties in Kapolei, uh, Hawaii, and Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today, we have moved on to Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I'm a little nervous about this one because this is a much bigger city. Albuquerque had about a half million people in it. This has got 2.7 million, so we've got a much bigger area and a much bigger population to take care of. So we, uh, this could be a little more challenging than the, uh, last couple and, uh, we'll see how we do. Hopefully we won't get too many people hurt. All right. So what have we've got here? We've got officers. We have weapons. We have technical tools, which, uh, allows, Let's say if we were to give technical tools to a police officer, they could respond to the cat in the tree uh, instead of uh, sending out a technical truck um, or to a medic, whatever. Um, they kind of allow us to cross. Same thing with the first aid kit. You can give that to a fire truck or to a police officer, and they can help respond when you can't get an ambulance there. Bulletproof vest, that kind of uh, speaks for itself what that is. We've got uh, one... We've got an injured police officer who cannot be assigned because he's still in recovery for another day. But we have, let's see, we have two motorcycle officers, two squad cars, a police van, two ambulances, a medical transport, a helicopter, two fire trucks, a technical truck, and we've got another ambulance down here. So... Let's see what we've got here. Let's start our deployment. Okay. So zooming out as far as we can, so we can see as much of the city as possible. We've got ambulance, ambulance. Let's move this guy down here. Move medical transport over here. There's our technical truck down here, but really... Let's put the fire truck here and the technical truck up here. Technical truck being more centrally located. And here we can get to fires more quickly. We've got motorcycle officers on opposite ends of the town. We've got, let's look at our units here. Because we're a minute, so we have two bikes. There's one patrol. And there's our second patrol. And our police van is where? Oh, he's way down there, so that's not going to work. So you get up here. You get up here. And you get over here. So hopefully we've got a good spread here. Uh, we'll see how things work out, obviously. Um, but, in fact, let's get the helicopter into the middle here. So obviously that's going to be your faster responder to trauma and whatnot. And we'll go from there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start our duty, cross our fingers, and hope everything works out. 1125, can you go to the radio room? 1384. All right. We have heart attack. So let's get the helicopter rolling that way. Alright, and he's got 43 seconds. Alright, we need one suspect driving his traffic. Alright. And let's get the, the motorcycle officer over there. Oh, we have a call, so let's listen. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? My stomach hurts really bad. Alright, does anything else hurt? No, I can't feel anything except the pain in my belly. Have you eaten anything unusual lately, sir? No, just what I always eat. What's your address, sir? Okay, I'll send the ambulance. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
I'll wait for them to get here. Bye. I'm listening. I'm listening. Understood. Okay, so uh, that was probably an unnecessary send out of the ambulance. He probably just has a tummy ache, but uh, we'll go ahead and get that taken care of anyway. So we've got a sharp tool injury, massive blood loss. Let's get the helicopter rolling there with the massive blood loss thing going on. All right. 45 seconds. And we have dog bite. Uh, so we're going to need an officer. And... And do we have an ambulance? We got he's busy. We are ready. And waiting, standing by right away. Medical transport. Is he done? Affirmative. Tell you what. Reporting. Let's keep medical transport there. We have a new incident. Standing by. Pregnant woman. Okay, so he ready. Ten four. Will take care of the pregnancy. Reporting. 10-4. Another call coming in. 911, what's your emergency? So, I've chopped my leg off. You've chopped off your leg? I, I, I held my cousin in the workshop, pushed with my leg, and, put, and then flipped into the press. I, I, I can't take it out. Please help. Do you have something to tie around your leg? No, just, just some tools, and an axe and a hammer. Alright, take off your shirt then. I want you to take off your shirt, tear it up if necessary, and firmly tie it around your leg, just above your injury. Okay. <coughs> Done. Okay. Where are you calling from? Okay, keep calm. The ambulance is on the way. It'll be there in a few minutes. Hurry. Oh, God. This feels terrible. Good. I know this won't be easy, but I need you to calmly breathe. Relax. The ambulance will arrive soon. God, I... No, you're not. Keep talking to me. Tell me, uh, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, I, I have a fiancé. We, we were, we were going to get married in two months. Oh, God, please. Let it just let it end. You're going to be fine. I need you to stay awake. Yes, I promise. What are the orders? Heading over there. On my way to Can you solve? 2247 West Monroe. All right, on that one, we're going to send uh, the motorcycle officer to intercept initially, but for transport, we'll need a squad car. So I sent the squad car there as well. All right, we have one of this. Gangs are fighting, so let's move the van. And let's get the ambulance going here. Get a 
squad car. All right, so we've got three armed suspects, so we're gonna we're gonna roll everybody we can to get there. And we have police emergency here. Car's been stolen. And let's go and send a squad car to that one. Up, oh, call coming in. Let's listen in. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Ma'am, you can help yourself here. Just open a window wide and turn off the lights. Before you know it, the battle be gone. No way am I coming out of here. You have to. I'm not going to send an officer over there. Your life's not in danger. It's not even an emergency. It's a bat in your house. <laughs> Please. You can do it, ma'am. Just, just be careful, okay? What's your address? Okay, I'll send somebody to help. Just stay there, please. Hurry! All right, we'll send a technical truck over there. You know, they, these are the guys who handle the cats and the trees, and uh, we'll help get that bat out of the house. But if something else comes up, we'll call them off that. All right, we've got a suspect that's armed. Let's, uh... Get him there. All right. And we've got a police officer still chasing this guy down. Requesting emergency medical service. All right, we got another need for an officer here for a suspect's arm. So let's see what we've got going on here. On my way to the hospital. Heavily injured. Needs medical transport. All right, so let's take the medical transport, send him that way. He is a van, send him that way. What do we have here? The dog has bitten a person, so... We've got fighting, we've got saves, so we are out of officers at the moment. We'll send the, the officer there. And send him back. All right, so at least we've got somebody responding. What we've got here, a new incident, another police situation. Meanwhile, these guys are still tied up. All right, who's tying him up? So the motorcycle officer can go that way. All right. All right. All right, everybody's everybody's rolling. So we've got a police response situation here. Possibly arm one transport. What are the orders? 10-4. West Monroe. All right, and here we need the van. I copy going there. And this guy can head that way. And so can he. So we'll get these guys handled. Well, we got a police emergency this way. So we'll have to get there. And next vandalism, drug abuse. We got three suspects. So hopefully, will he be done here in a second? Oh, he needs police transport. So he's not going to be helpful here. Okay, so we are ready. This guy. Oh, we've got a call coming in. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hey, I live near the jail, and I think I just saw someone escaping it. Okay, uh, tell me what you saw, sir. I noticed some men going out through the window by a rope, like in a movie. Did you count how many prisoners escaped? There were four of them. Where are they now? I don't know. They, they drove away quickly, heading north. Did they have someone waiting for them? No, it seemed like they've stolen a car. Did you get a look at the car? Make, model, color, that kind of thing? Well, it was a, a white car. I believe it was a sedan. A white sedan. 
Was there someone in the car? Yes, the driver. They dragged him out of the car, hit a few times, and threw him in the trunk. Okay, thanks for the call. The police will start looking for them. Good luck. 1125, can you go to the radio room? 2247. We're under fire. Need back. Shots fired. Requesting backup. <laughs> Reporting. Reporting. 113 with on 1652 Medical heading to hospital. We are ready. Reporting. All right. So he's almost resolved. We got a whole bunch of situations and not nearly enough officers to handle this. So, uh, this ought to be good. Um, we are ready. He's waiting for transport, but we can't transport. There we go. Now he's done. Now he can transport. And we can go help him. Alright. Now we're going to need to send a police officer there in a moment. Um, how quickly are we going to be resolved here? Resolved in 60 seconds. Needs police transport. Okay. So. All right. Let's go ahead and get him. Affirmative. I'm responding to that. And he's waiting. Uh, I know he's waiting on a police transport, but I got no one to send him. What are the orders? I copy. Going there. All right. Requesting support. Requesting support. Yes, I get it. You are under fire. We need to send ready for the next case. We are ready. Ambulance here. Going there. We here. Are Let's forward. help him out. And got injured people here. Got an injured officer. Requesting support. Requesting support. Waiting for orders. Alright. Let's get an ambulance going there. All right, they're all getting locked up. Yes, I, I get that he's waiting transport, but I have no one to send. We're definitely in need of some more police officers here. All right, lots of people here. All right, so let's... Uh, Kidnapped by blocked by heavily injured person. Alright. Oh, no, he's not going to be able to help on that. But let's go this way. You go this way. You go this way. What we got? Alright, let's get this guy. Going here. Medical transport. Right away. All right. I think we're covered here. We have. Reporting. He's still having problems. Suspects are leaving transport. One thirteen, Lieutenant. Seven nine. Reporting. All right. Let's, reporting. Let's get this over here to help the officer. We'll need somebody else. All right, we gotta get this van out of here. We are ready. I copy. Going there. All right. Twenty-two forty-seven West Monroe. Needs police transport. Needs police transport. We are ready. Okay, he's got ten seconds to get him resolved, and the kidnapped driver will be resolved here in a second. All right, so now let's get this van what are the orders? moving here for police I transport. Going there. And he's waiting for police transport. I don't know how we're supposed to handle all this. We are ready. He's injuring. Needs police transport. What are the orders? All right, that's an excellent question. Affirmative. We can do it now. All right. We haven't had any fire emergencies this time. That's kind of surprising. All right, here. Let's get him going that way. 
See if we can help with the whole transport situation. He helped with the transport situation up there. Let's see if that will alleviate some of the problems. All right, so technical truck, you get back to the middle. And here we go. All right, so we've got this police transport. All right, I think what they need here is at least one more van in this town. And probably another ambulance as well. All right, what do we got here? Got police transport. All right. All right, we're tying up lots of assets here. All right, you can go over here, I think. Because I don't think... All right, we've got one guy who's being helped. It's resolved. So we don't need this ambulance here anymore. Move him out of the way. All right, and we've got four guys who need to get to the hospital. That situation's resolved. Let's get him down there. Evidently, nobody else is capable of transporting people, and I don't know why. Uh, I totally get why the bike cops can't, but why these patrol cars aren't transporting people, I don't know. But looks like this may be the end of our duty station here, so as soon as we let's speed this up a little bit and get that van there and see if we can get that situation resolved. All right. Injury is resolved. I'm grabbing over and just getting out to the base. 113, Lieutenant. We are ready. Sorry, 10 for thank you. All right, the van has arrived. There we go. All right, so we lost one vehicle theft. We have an empty call, no reaction, so we, we evidently missed a call completely. Uh, lost that suspect in a speeding and a pickpocket, so... I suppose, of all the things that could have happened, that was not too bad. Although, like I said, I think if we had another ambulance and at least one more van, perhaps another squad car as well, we could have done even better. So um, we've got three injured officers, so that's not great. But in all, we, uh, we're we not doing too bad. we got about uh, $10,000 total we got a profit of 31 for the duty and that seems like a pretty good pretty good day i think we've been promoted to the next city but i think really in fairness let's take a look here we can go to san francisco or we can go back and retry chicago with an additional police officer or two and I'll bet we can make a bigger difference here. So let's see what options we have in terms of additional equipment. Excuse me, and or additional crew. And see if we can do something here. All right, so to add another car, a van would be 80000 So that's obviously not in the... Offing three hundred thousand dollars for a medical copter, so that's not happening. A medical car, um, well, that wouldn't be interesting, but that's eighty thousand. We can't afford it anyway. But we can't afford another police car, so let's get one of those and let's create a new team with. A squad car. He's going to need. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right. So what we need is looks like one, two, three, four, five, six officers, if possible. Can we do that? Let's do that one and recruit 
another police officer. And three, four, five, six. All right. So there are six officers. So let's go ahead and staff up these teams. And then I think what we'll see is that because we have more people, of course, we obviously have an additional vehicle, but they'll be able to resolve these cases much more quickly. And let's get them armed. Here's a pistol for you. And you get a bulletproof vest. You get a pistol. And you also will need one. You get one. You get a bulletproof vest. We like you. All right. And we'll get a gun. And they can respond to that. And oh, it helps if we actually scrolled it properly. All right. So it looks like we need one pistol, two pistols. All right. Let's see what we have for equipment. What's that going to cost us? Two guns, a couple bulletproof vests. So, hmm, that's not too bad. I could fit. One, two, four, six, seven. All right, we'll be able to get them all bulletproof vests, but I think we can get, let's get six of them. Get crazy. All right, you get a bulletproof vest, and you get a bulletproof vest. Oh, we need some guns too. Couple guns. All right. Gun for you. Bulletproof vest for you. These are the mean streets of Chicago, after all. So we don't want to send our officers out there without the appropriate equipment. And you know what? Unit 14. Boom. All right. All right, now that we've spent some of the money we've earned doing this, let's see what we can do with additional resources going back to Chicago. And we have the van in the middle. We've got, let's check our units. We have motorcycle, motorcycle, squad car, squad car, police van. Oh, and let's get this. Where's this guy? Where are you hiding, my friend? Oh, he's down here. All right. Well, we don't need that. You can go over here. You can go over here. In fact, let's go farther over here. Let's go over there. But then we'll send him back down. Motorcycle officer here. Separate these guys a little bit. All right. So now we have ambulance. Ambulance. Where's medical transport? Medical transport's there. Ambulance. And ambulance. All right. So now with my luck, what happens, we get a lot of fire calls this time and not have enough equipment to do that. Less violence, more fire. All right. So let's go ahead and start our duty station. Again, crossing our fingers, hoping it'll all work out. Here we go. All right, we need abandoned building, acts of vandalism, violence, and drug abuse. I'm listening. Understood. Let's send the motorcycle officer over there. We'll send a squad if we need to transport anyone. Oh, we've got two suspects, so let's go ahead and roll the squad car. Have a feeling. Got another incident. 
Sharp tool injury, massive Reporting. blood loss. Ambulance yeah. right next door. So we'll send that. Oh. Medical. Heavily injured. So. Let's go ahead and enroll the chopper that way. All right, another incident there. Let's see where comes the fire. Technical job. Oh, so. Broken electrical line. So. All right. One technical job done. All right, let's see how this incident's working out over here. Treated? Oh, we've got an incident here. Just offered something nice to buy. Reporting right away. All right, we'll send them. Standing by. Okay, we're going to save that van for large incidences. We only got one suspect here. We'll see if he needs a transport. Reporting. Ten four. Eleven twenty five. Can you go to the radio room? All right, we got into the incident. And any police here? We've got. Some people drinking in public, so I think we just send one officer that way. Standing by. All right. So we're resolving this stuff really quickly. Get the squad car back out there. Get the motorcycle officer here. Oh, what do we got over here? Person lost consciousness for unknown reasons. Ambulance en route. Send the motorcycle officer down here. All right. Waiting for orders. Looks like he's done Standing there in the technical there. job, so yeah, to put him back uh, in the central field. location. All right, you can see we're just over a quarter of the way through our unit, our duty right now. This is resolving in 40-some seconds. All right, we have a suspicious guy offering something nice, so let's get the squad car that way. How's this one going? These guys are getting tickets. So they'll resolve in 20-some seconds. It looks like we have got things managed at the moment. All right, and we have a fire. Firefighter intervention. Yes, ma'am. On the way. Neighborhood dumpster fire. So it shouldn't be too serious. Hopefully just one unit. We'll be able to resolve it. And what we have here, police trapped. So we need a large fire. Okay, so let's send him. We've got medical since we've got injured here. And let's send the tech crew just in case. They can help. Are they done? Oh, what do we got here? Remember what I was saying about our luck being what it is? I'm listening. All right, you're going to go that way. You go that way. That, the way they just roll is since we had sufficient coverage on the medical and police officer side, they would send us a bunch of fires. And that is what they've done. Thank you very much. All right, we have a gunshot wound found bleeding, and the offender remains unknown. So. Let's send a police officer and an ambulance. All right. What do we got going on here? So the fire will be resolved in about 20 seconds. All right. Fire truck this way. Now we've got a medical gunshot wound. All right. So first of all, let's send you. And let's send the chopper. And you go over here. Technical truck back to the middle. All right, what's the situation here? That'll resolve. All right. We got a new incident, which is what? Police here. Car accident. Cause must be determined. All right, you can go this way. All right. All right, we've got Major this thing sorted. 
seven West Monroe. So far, we are on top of it. New incident. We have large fire, medical assistance. So here we go. Large fire. We are ready. Affirmative. All right, we'll roll two fire trucks. They'll resolve it that much faster. If something happens in the meantime, then we'll roll one of those trucks out to it. All right. In fact, there's just what we were talking about. Oh, we've got a technical truck, so that's good. Easy enough. Job for the technical truck. Medical heading to hospital. All right. All right. New incident. We have officer illegal software and or data. Okay. So we'll send the squad car since he happens to be close by to deal with the nefarious activities of the software pirate. And that will resolve here in a few seconds. That. A little over a minute. Oh, we got another one. We need medical assistance. Waiting for orders. And a fire truck. We are ready. Affirmative. Well, luckily I happen to have one of these. Years. And again. On my way. Send two trucks because we can. Make the job go that much faster. Alright. New incident. We have medical. Starting to give birth on it, so I, copy. Going there. I think medical transport would be sufficient for her. Got injured. Going to hospital. All right, he's on his way to the hospital. These guys still working the fire, and they'll be done in a minute. We've got all right. We've got a three suspects, so we're going to want to roll the van. Police car Reporting. On my way. and an ambulance. So hopefully, and you know what? Waiting for orders. He hasn't done anything the entire duty. So let's get that motorcycle officer that way too. All right. All right. So we've got two armed officers, two suspects being locked up. On my way to hospital. Yes, I see you got support. Motorcycle officer will be there in just a moment. All right. Police transport needed. All right. Where do we need police transport? Here. We're done here. All right. We actually didn't get any calls that time. That was all dispatch. Uh, and we resolved them all successfully. So, awesome us. Congratulations for the part that you played in it by watching us. And I think we did great. We did a total profit of 38,000, 79% efficiency, moving right on up the scale. And that should do it for Chicago. And as you may have seen before at when we uh, finished it and before we wanted to try it again, the next city is going to be San Francisco. So we'll try that on episode three. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining us for the last uh, 45 minutes, uh, uh, hour, whatever it's been. Uh, we know there are other things you could have been doing, but you chose to spend that time with us. So thank you. Uh, if you enjoyed what we did, then please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And we will see you next time on episode three of 911 Operator. And until then, enjoy.